Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sober Lab and today I will show how you can install Plex in Docker using Portrait. Basically, in the previous video, I show how you can install MB in your server. With this MB, you can make streams of your video. Plex is not so much different, you can do exactly the same function, you can do the stream of your video, but with a little bit different application. You don't need to set up a, a prox reverse, Plex will do it for you. Basically, they will make all the configuration. So, different from AMB to the Plex, Plex you don't need to do any configuration, special one. Basically, you only run, set up your Docker, you run it, and that's everything it's done by Plex. If you like this idea and you want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show, but first don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's see how to do it. Okay, first thing that we're gonna do is open the Plex website. In the Plex website, they already show the similar slogan, watch free movies and TV on Plex. What it means that you can have a live TV, you can free views and shows according from the library from Plex, but also you ha can have your own library. And if you go premium, you have some extra functionality for it. If we go a little bit down, what is the step that you need to do? You get a free account, get Plex in your device and watch everything that you want. If you want to run the Plex option, so you need to set up your server. You can do the same procedure that we do with most of our Docker applications. Basically, do the configuration, define which folder that you want to locate it, and this folder should have all your library and you can identify it. Let's go a little bit down. They explain why Plex and why you should go premium. And also they have a lot of device that they work. They work with Apple, Android, Raku, Chrome, and a lot of others device. The image that we're gonna install, it's the Linux server Plex. This image has been updated three days ago and have uh, over 500 million downloads. If you go down here, they say a little bit about the application, but we are looking for the architecture. The architecture for this one work with 8664 bits, also ARM system. So they will work either in a Raspberry Pi, either in a computer. In our case, we are running a computer, but you can potentially run in the Raspberry Pi the same way. If you go a little bit more down, they say about the installation of the Docker, but we're going to use the Docker Compose installation. The installation that we're going to follow is the Docker Compose installation, and here they say that the Docker Compose revision 2.1. So we run as a stock in the portrait, so we don't need to open our PuTTY for it. We're going to copy this information, and we go down a little bit for the parameters information, only to understand what's about. They say that the network is host, use a uh, host networking, that's fine for us. PoID, PJD, it's easy as well. It's only go in your SSH and put ID and the user that you're using. In this way, you can discover what's your PoID and PJD. Then the version that we are using is the Docker version, only to be sure that we set up the correct one. If you want already to put your Plex to claim automatically, you can come here in uh, plex.tv and put claim, and that you use this token here. You have four minutes to, to use this token. It, all, it means that you need to be not super fast, but you cannot take as much time as you want. Then you need to find some volumes. The volume is a configuration volume, the TV and the media. You can do exactly the same procedure that I show in the AMB. You can have only one volume and this volume that will be the rest of the configuration. Now we can come here in portrait and come in stock. In stock, we can add a new stock. We click add stock and we paste this information. The name of the stock that we're creating is Plex. So we leave the same name. In the previous video, I put ID and user and that I know that my PoID is a thousand, my JD is a hundred. I leave as a docker here, I don't change. Plex claim, I will change it in a bit, in a second. But first, we're gonna define our library. To define our library, we go back in our open media file in the part of share folders, and here it's my absolute path. I will copy my absolute path for the docker container folder. I come back here and I change it because I want to get uh, in the folder of docker, and in this one, I will put Plex. When I'm doing it, normally I try to leave this Docker app as a SSD to get everything fast. All the database will run fast and when they look for some thumbnail, they will look fast. If you have a hard drive, they will work, but it will be a little bit slower. But it's totally fine. 
Now we need to define our media folder. So we come back here and we copy home, come here and paste. If I open my sum in the home folder, I know that inside this home, I have a, a folder called media. Inside this one is movie, but I leave only as a media. So if I copy here and paste here, I know that everything will be media. And now I can change for media. So I can remove the part of uh, movies because everything will be in the same place. Now we need to define this Plex claim. To do it, we come back in the Plex website and they say you need to access this website. So we come here and exit and they say you have four minutes to use this claim. So we're going to use it. So I copy this one and I come here and change for this claim. I was only allowed to do it because I read I have login the Plex in my computer, so I didn't need to log in again. But if you don't log in before, you need to do it. So I have everything configured, really basic things. We can come here in the Docker stock. Then we can come here in deploy the stock and click deploy the stock. So now they will do exactly the same procedure. They will download all the image, will install everything, will do all the runs that's required and that's uh, once that's everything dried for me they will show the message in the top there say your container has been created then we can go for the next step once that the container has been created we can come here in container click in plex logs and see what is about they say that they are creating all the information for the plex they are claiming and uh, we need to wait we need to wait until we have the information for Plex done. So let's wait. Now that appear Plex done, it means that now I have access. To open the Plex the first time, we need to use the follow-up door 32400 slash web. When we open this one, they ask, you are sure that you want to claim it? And I say, yes, I sing in and claim. So now I need to sing in and allow that the Plex have access for my server. Once that's uh, appear this, once that allowed it, they appear this page where I can set up the workers from work. So I can come here and put get it. They offer me to get the Plex pass, but we're gonna reject this time. And we define the name of our Plex server. In my case, it will be OMV6. Then the media. Once that I come here in media, I can set up my media. I can come here and put add library, and I put movies what I want. Add locate and I told that I leave as a media and movies and I edit so I can do some configuration here if I want to use the original title if I want to define the uh, scope or do the enable video preview remember if you leave this one enabled they will use a little bit more for your server the first time but then it will be faster for you go through the videos so now we can come here and put add library and put next it will ask you want to get Plex Pass, of course they want to sell it for you, but we'll not do it, so we're gonna come here and put done. When that's complete, I can open my Chunas Docker NGX video and I can come here and put play, and that's they will start to play it. Let me put quiet. So they will start to play because they are doing direct transmission, they are going quite well, but always I can come in settings, I come here in uh, convert or show all the options, I can convert for a different resolution. I can go for a low resolution, look like 1080p, and that they will do all the hardware or they will do all the software transcode. If I have a Plex Pass, then I can get a hardware transcode. So in this video, I show another option for MIDI stream. At least you have a different option. You don't need to be blocked only with MB, you can have a Plex. All the options that exist in the market as well, it's a jelly thing that I wanted to show in the next video. Also, this, this installation for Plex and to understand how it's work, it's important for you that in the next videos that I will post in the future, I want to do interaction between different servers. So you can have a cloud server plus a local media server plus uh, other local media server. Everything work in the same place. So you have an option to have a big library. You don't need to have a really big computer with a lot of drivers and everything in the same place. So if you like this video and think that it was useful, for you good don't forget to leave your like if you don't like leave your dislike subscribe for the channel and see you next time bye